I don't know the full details, but it had to do with them being neglected as well as the trauma from the physical abuse. When they walked in the house and they saw their room, they was like, this is mine, this is my bed, this is my room. Like, yes, this is your room, you know? And that kind of just opened them up. I got my own room. It was like a Minnie Mouse bed. I am nine. My favorite subject is science. She's joyful, she's loving, she's caring, she's very helpful. Naya, she's very uh, courageous, beautiful inside and out. Her heart is so big. She's always been like, I would say, like our little reporter. She's going to keep you up on things. She's like a reminder for me. She's uh, very caring, very nurturing. It's like my many best friend. I am a, my favorite color is red. Elias has always been cheerful, outgoing, and loving. He loves to hug, he loves to dance, he loves to sing. He's always been that way. He's always been funny. Um, even in our serious moments, he's gonna find a way to joke. He gets us through life. What life was like when I didn't have my children and how empty I felt and how they changed the whole my whole concept on life, well, everything we've done in life since we've had our children has been around the things that benefits them and the things that bring joy and the things that can put them ahead in life. Blood doesn't make a family. Love does. Uh, it didn't take long, um, especially when they saw how committed we were. They just felt comfortable calling me dad, felt comfortable calling her mom. And um, it's been that ever since. It means the world to me to know that our children not only just have a home, but they have family. I see them being world changers. I see them going further than me and my husband could ever go. Even though they may have had a rough start, they're going to finish strong. <laughs>